Hello, Cancer. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for March 28th through April 3rd. I hope everyone is doing well and sending you blessings for the week ahead. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Just a reminder, Cancer, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. Some information may not resonate with you. Also, be sure to check out your rising sign and moon sign readings as well. So, let's get into your reading. First card, Major Arcana card, The Fool. Next, The Queen of Swords. Major Arcana card, The Tower. And The Three of Wands. There's an energy here, Cancer, of, I just want to say new beginnings. It's almost like the seeds that you have planted. You've been working very hard. That's going to pay off this week in some way, shape, or form. You were kind of prepared to go in a new direction, and that's where all this abundance and support, just almost like a new way of looking at everything, changing up your lifestyle. So definitely something this week is shaking everything up, where you're going to have something kind of point you in a new direction. It's about the best way I can describe the energy. Something's pointing you to this, what I feel is abundance. So first card here, major clue, major arcana card, the fool. Kind of an indication of something bigger than the day-to-day -day activities because when the major arcana cards show up, it's kind of like a life event. It's a big deal. It might be you're going to take this leap of faith, go down the new path, the new direction. Now for some cancer individuals, this can definitely be in regards to a relationship. It can be a love relationship. It can be a friendship. It can be in regards to a family member. There's some kind of new beginning that's happening, going off in a new direction. And I'm almost picturing like a line drawn in the sand. And you're letting everything from the past go. And I really love the full numerology. We've got the zero there. Zero is the absence of everything and therefore the potential for anything. So it's a blank slate. And that's what I feel you're starting out with this week. It's before the beginning and after the end. So... Let's pull a clarifying card, see if we get any additional information with the Fool. The Knight of Swords. Well, it's a very take charge kind of energy and certainly with the Knights, they do bring about travel, movement, change. This Knight is using strategy, mental clarity, as to what he wants to achieve. So there's definitely a change coming in. A new strategy is what I'm picking up. Next, the Queen of Swords. I feel this is you, Cancer. You are taking a very logical and rational approach as to what you want for your future. And if you look here at the bottom corner, you see the cup is locked up and the cup represents your feelings, your emotions. So you're locking that up. So you have the ability to just look at things from a rational, logical standpoint, not letting emotions or feelings get in the way of a decision maybe you're making. And it's in regards to your future. And I love this energy here. And this is your energy. You're looking and deciding what you truly want for your future cancer. 
And we do see the single bird kind of soaring way up in the sky in the distance. So this could be particular communication, uh, message, advice from someone that, someone you hear, yeah, someone you hear from. And that's gonna get this whole thing rolling. This is mental clarity. So I love this energy for you because it's gonna put you on the path of what I'm picking up is abundance. So let's pull a clarifying card for this Queen of Swords. Major Arcana card, Temperance. Perfect. It's going to bring in balance to your life. Definitely can be in regards to relationships. It could be a balance in regards to your work and home life. You are leaving out your emotions so that you can achieve what the temperance card is indicating. Integrating something new into your life to get this balance back in. So it's a new beginning, a new path, possibly a new job, a new relationship, a new home, a new idea, or a new way of thinking. Next, Major Arcana card, The Tower. So you have a couple of major arcana cards here in your reading. So definitely an indication of drastic change coming in. And that's what's needed in order for you to change up the energy that you've been experiencing lately, Cancer. And this is really a very different tower card. I pick up more a homey feel to this tower where you had made your home and something came along and like disrupted everything. Disrupted everything that's in your home environment. And I feel it might be more your home environment more than anything else. But look at all the butterflies here. There is something kind of working behind the scenes getting rid of like this top portion that was causing all the disruption, you might say. So the tower card represents something's coming in where it's shaking things up in the fact that you're able now to go off in a new direction and you're seeing things with clarity. This number 16 of the tower card reduces to seven, very spiritual, mystical number. Listen to your intuition this week, Cancer. Now let's pull a clarifying card for this tower card. Nine of swords. This is what the tower is eliminating. Nightmare, stress, worry, not being able to sleep. And that could be in regards to so many different things, but whatever it is, something is changing that where it's going to be this temperance energy, more balanced, harmonious, very nice energy I see coming in for you this week, Cancer. Now, your last card here, Cancer, is kind of like your overall energy. It can be an outcome card at times, and you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is setting things in motion. So this is your overall energy more than like an outcome card. The three numerology with this card is an indication that something is coming together to create something new. That's the full card energy if you so choose to go down this new path. These wands here are set firmly. You're making a choice, a decision to move forward with something. So this is definitely a card, an energy this week of setting things in motion and you're deciding and there's no turning back. This is actually Aries card in energy and it's ruled by the sun. And with this being your overall energy and this happens to be Aries season right now, strong indication here, you're gonna be successful and you're gonna be happy with the direction that you're headed towards. So very nice card and energy, success, happiness, abundance. And I keep picking up abundance. 
Now your oracle message for the week, look at this, cornucopia. This is specifically wishes fulfilled. It's kind of like the Nine of Cups card in the tarot. This is an indication that there is an abundance, like a harvest of great blessings waiting for you. Your wishes are ready to be fulfilled. This is kind of an energy, a gift from the universe. You really see this energy here. You see it coming in. Beautiful energy. This can be in regards to relationships, friendships, romantic love. This could be in regards to your job, a better job, job promotion. This can be finances, abundance coming in. Something's about to pay off for you, Cancer, but it all depends on if you're taking the leap of faith here with the Fool card. Now your crystal for the week, Smoky Quartz. And it says clearing negativity. So this is getting rid of any past energy you could be leaving someone or a situation behind and you want to clear out all that energy from following you. So smoky quartz is being suggested to clear away this negativity. You can even ask for assistance from Archangel Michael to lift away what doesn't serve you any longer. So this can just be meditating with the smoky quartz, asking for all this negative energy to be cleared out from you anything that's draining or lingering to be released. Now you could also do smudging with sage. It also helps to spend some time out in nature for yourself, just being, taking a walk, letting go of whatever this nine of swords energy, what that is. But carry the smoky quartz with you. Clears the energy, clears the past, it grounds you, it releases any negativity around you. And your last card here is your fortune for the week ahead. So let's see what you get. This is the final message for your reading. And you have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Well, you kind of hit the jackpot with the fortune card as your last message for your reading. The bread card is an indication of your hard work getting the fruit of your labor. The kitchen table here represents the hard work that you put in. And the loaf of bread, the sack of flour represents the fruits of your labor. So definitely an indication here, you're gonna have a period of prosperity and plenty. And it's actually giving me the indication centered around your home cancer. So that's what I was picking up here with the tower card. It's a very different tower card, more homey type environment. So this is something that's going to be on the home front, prosperity, abundance, happiness, but it all depends on this, your choice here. So beautiful cards and energy, an indication for the week ahead for you, Cancer. Well, there you have it. That was your messages and guidance from Spirit from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead and thank you so much for joining me. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, the links are listed below to my website. Love and look at this abundance to my cancer family.